how we can determine the surface tension of a liquid suppose uh, you are going to determine the surface tension of some water water now water should be taken in a glass beaker now water is taken in a glass beaker over which uh, we take here a rectangular plate this is a rectangular plate it should be placed vertically and it is uh, connected to the pan or a fulcrum by a rod now one end of the rod is connected to the rectangular plate another end of the rod is uh, connected to the pan in the pan we place a uh, sufficient weight which can balance the rectangular plate a rectangular plate is balanced by the weight placed in the pan the weight placed in the pan is balancing the this rectangular plate now here now this uh, vessel is uh, lifted up till the water surface the liquid surface just touches the just touches the liquid sur this uh, rectangular plate now this vessel is lifted till the liquid surface just uh, touches the rectangular plate thereafter this uh, rectangular plate experiences the surface tension force along its length uh, in downward direction why because according to surface tension property every free surface of liquid tries to have minimum surface area and also it is behaving like a stretched elastic membrane and if we consider the two equal half parts of the free surface of the liquid the left part pulls the right part towards it right part also pulls the left part towards it in the same way these are left part pulling the right part towards it right part also pulling the left part towards it along the length of the rectangle plate in downward direction now this total force uh, acts along the totally to a length this side it acts along the length l towards left direction and other side it acts along the length l towards the right direction totally this glass plate experiences a downward force uh, along the length to uh, l now if we suppose the surface tension of this liquid is a uh, T, T is equal to surface tension property, surface tension formula is a uh, force by length. Suppose the downward force acting on this uh, glass plate is F, this uh, force is acting along the length uh, 2L. So we write T is equal to F by 2L. Now downward force is acting on it, F is equal to T into 2L. This is the downward force acting on the rectangular plates. Now to separate this rectangular plate from the liquid surface, we suppose uh, an additional weight which is placed uh, an additional weight which is placed in the pan is w w is the additional weight placed in the pan to just detach the this rectangular plate from the water surface so this w acts vertically down this side and acts uh, up this side now this w is uh, required to just detach the rectangular plate from the water surface now if this F is acting down, this F is balanced by the W in upward direction. Now F is equals to W. Now we can write W is equals to T into 2L. This F is surface tension force is acting down and W is acting up. This W is required to, to just detach the rectangular plate from the water surface so that F is equals to W. W is equal to T into 2L. From this we can write uh, T is equals to W by here W is the additional weight placed in the pan to just detach the rectangular plate from the water surface and 2L is the length of the rectangular plate. By substituting W and L value here, we find the surface tension of the given liquid. In this way, we find the surface tension of the given liquid experimentally.